Hi everyone, it's Gail. I'm here today to share these two traveler's notebooks that I've made. Um, I actually made four. Two of them were um, uh, requested order and so I made two more that I could put in my Etsy shop as well. So um, we'll go through these. I was inspired by finding this gorgeous paper in my stash that I had sort of forgotten about but um, it's just, it just inspired me with the color of this sari silk. And then down the spine of this one, I have the wedding sari silk. And um, it's just beautiful. So this one is dream. Of course, you can change out that word if you would like. Um, and let's just go inside. So this one... Um, I've gone ahead and done sort of a top tuck because the paper was so beautiful right here. I didn't want to cover it up with uh, this book belongs to tag that I made. And then in these books, I have these beautiful digital designs that are by my friend Maura McDonald, who is Bygone Cards on Etsy. So I will link her Etsy shop below so that you can check out what she's got. Um, so... There's, there's a lot of Tim Holtz in here. This is uh, Tim Holtz fabric flip. And all the paper is coffee dyed. Some of it heavily coffee dyed. Um, so here is a flip down. And just a little off cut of the paper used with some vintage crochet doily attached to the top. This is one of my Project Life altered cards. All I did on this one was just sew um, some Tim Holtz fabric on it. It's got a little card in, tucked in there, and then this flips out. Little glassine bag here, and another one of Mora's beautiful designs. And. This one has some coffee dyed fabric that's got a delicate little design and then some decorative stitching. This flips out. And then I've got an Edith Holden page in each one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is another one of Mora's designs and it is tucked into a Tim Holtz. This is from the Memoranda collection of papers. Um, the middle has a heart coffee dyed doily in it. And then this is pretty fun. Um, in this belly band is a postcard that I made. Let me see if I can find the same one. Um, these, this is the original. So it's a vintage postcard that I decoupage napkin over over and then when I when you take the copy of it or if you were to scan it it really brings out those back buildings so um, that was a technique I learned from Tracy Fox so check her out on YouTube she had a great tutorial on it coffee dyed paper here Edith Holden page the other side and here are some of those heavy coffee dyed papers that I talked about and the coffee dyed fabric again, a flip out, the other side of the glassine bag. Here is a banner tuck with trim and a Tim Holtz found relatives card. Flip up here, a tag that was off cut, coffee dyed paper. And then at the back, there's another Tim Holtz fabric pocket with this tag. And that is it for this one, for Dream. So let's take a look now at Inspire. Make sure that I'm in frame here. And again, this one is closed with the Wedding Sari Silk and then has some on this side. Um, then in this one, I went ahead and put a pocket in with the This Book Belongs To. This is one of Mora's Designs journaling card. Again, Tim Holtz Fabric Flip. It's 
some coffee dyed paper. Another one of Mora's designs. A flip down with a little tag and some lace. This is the Edith Holden page in this one. And this is the Project Life card that um, I put fabric over it and then I tucked in a little, um, the fabric is pocket, so I tucked in a little Tim Holtz card. There's also a journaling card tucked in there and then this flips out. Again, some decorative stitching on the Tim Holtz on the side. Coffee dyed papers. One of Mora's other designs with um, the Tim Holtz tuck. There's the middle of the signature in this one. And here is, here's the card in this one. Let's see if I can find, here's the original. And then this is the copy. So, and you, you know, obviously journal on the back of those. And some more fabric sewn on. This flips all the way out. The banner tuck with this little Tim Holtz card. The other side of the Edith Holden page. Then this decorative tag with a flip up here. The other side of the glassing bag. Coffee dyed paper and the fabric pop pocket on the last page with uh, with a tag in there. So this one is Dream, or I'm sorry, this one is Inspire, this one is Dream. They will be listed in my Etsy just as soon as I upload this video. So um, I'll be, I'll, I will be back with probably some Daphne's Diaries uh, traveler's notebooks. I'm headed to my retreat this next week and um, I'm hoping to make a lot of those, maybe some Christmas ones. And so I'll be back to share what I get done at the retreat. So in, unless I get something done before then, which could happen too. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.